Hey, I'm Cameron, the plant-based Cajun, and today I want to show you guys how to make a vegan and plant-based green bean casserole. I have one shallot in a pan with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm gonna soften that. I have two bags of green beans that I have legit just steamed in the microwave. I'm gonna throw in here. Preheat to 350. Okay, the onion's nice and soft. I'm adding some garlic. Just cook until you can smell it. And now I'm adding some vegetable broth. I have about eight. Um, I like the baby portobello mushrooms that I have minced up here. We're gonna stir that in. So right now what we're doing is making our cream of mushroom soup to cook everything in. I have soy sauce and vegan Worcestershire. I have pepper, tarragon, and a little bit of ground thyme, literally just a pinch, because I feel like they can be pretty strong. So stirring all that in. Mm, it smells so good. That soy sauce gives it that depth of flavor that we're looking for with that Worcestershire, a little kick of acidity. We're gonna pour in some almond milk, or whatever non-dairy milk you have. Mm, look at that. So now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of flour to thicken it. Just a little bit. Adding one more tablespoon. I've removed from my heat. Okay, I don't know if y'all can tell or see, but it's creamy goodness, and we are ready. Mm, I just tasted it, and it tastes amazing. We're just gonna pour this over our green beans. Mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna mix it up to get it all nice and evenly coated. Whoopsies. Okay, so I'm actually gonna mix in some French fried onions into the mixture here. I'm guessing it's about maybe a half cup. I mean, does that not say Thanksgiving? Mm. We're gonna bake for about mm, 20 minutes or so. The green beans are already cooked. Oh no, the onion, no! Sorry, there was a mushroom that I was worried about burning at the bottom of the oven, but we're gonna bake it. I'm actually gonna check it 15 minutes because all we're doing is heating it through. Green beans are already cooked. The soup is already cooked. We're just letting them meld. Okay, I went ahead and took it out. After about 15 minutes, it's looking nice. I'm gonna give it a stir. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle on, top some more of these yummy crispy onions and just bake for another meh, five minutes until they're nice and toasty. Oh, that was a really big onion. Mm. Five minutes. Do y'all hear that crunch? Oh! Yay, okay, I finally got it to not fall off the spoon. Do I wait or do I burn my mouth on this? So good, so creamy. I just got that crunch from the French onions and I feel like there's more of a mushroom flavor that kind of comes through. Happy eating everybody. Let me know if you try it. Eee!